Hey guys, this is Apple Gamer 247. I'm here to give you guys a iPhone tutorial today on how to change or modify your carrier settings on your iPhone. Uh, basically, what carrier settings are, it's basically the setting in your iPhone that tells you what carrier your iPhone's running on. So if you look in the corner of your iPhone, it usually says Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, or whatever carrier you have. But we're going to change that to be anything that we want. We can change it to be an Apple logo or an Android logo if you want to be uh, like that. Or if you just want to be blank, just like in the iPhone commercials, uh, you can do that using this program which I'm going to show you guys how to do today. So the carrier um, program that we're going to use to modify these files is called Carrier Editor. It's for the Mac and PC. I'll have a link on my website for you guys to download this um, so you guys can get the logos that you need and the program. So first thing that you need to do is you need to make sure your iPhone is plugged in and as a little disclaimer I don't know if this works on any other iPhone besides the iPhone 5. I'm using the iPhone 5 right now just as an example because this does not require a jailbreak which is kind of cool. So if it does work on the iPhone 4, 4S um, or iPhone 3GS just leave it down below but it does not work on any Wi-Fi equipped device like the iPod Touch or the Wi-Fi based iPad. It only looks on cellular de based devices like the iPhone and and the iPads with 4G or 3G. So basically, uh, after that's all been said and done, and you have the right program and uh, the right iPhone, um, basically what you need to do is you need to download and then um, put on your desktop the Carrier Editor app. So what we're going to do is we're going to open it up right from the disk image. Uh, this warning should pop up if you have Mountain Lion or Lion. Just click Open. It's the same program. Um, you can choose if you want to check for updates. I'm going to say don't check right now. Um, so this is what this is a simple program. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to hit let's get started. So first thing that we need to do is we need to go over to the carrier settings on our iPhone. And basically how you do that is I'm going to walk you guys through this right now. You go to settings. About. Uh, general then about and then you want to scroll down until you see carrier and usually it's going to say Verizon or at and it actually shows you right here what you need to look at but for me it says Verizon and I just need the number that says so I'm just going to type in my number that says on my particular iPhone so just like this and we're going to hit next then we want to choose iPhone or iPad depending on what device you have and this is where it gets a point right here under carrier you need to select the carrier that you're using on your iPhone um, as you can see it has all the carriers listed for every iPhone that runs on each different country so I'm going to scroll all the way down because I'm on Verizon so I need to copy the Verizon information um, but I'm pretty sure it works on all carriers just to make sure your carrier you're on so I'm going to scroll all the way down to Verizon uh, it should be somewhere right here no, that's not it. Keep going. Uh, uh, let's see here. It takes me a few minutes to find it. Here it is, Verizon LTE US. So that's my carrier information. Now that box depends all about uh, all around you and what carrier you have and what iPhone you have. But for me, it's Verizon LTE US. Um, hit next, and this is where it gets important. Uh, you need to make sure you need to add the new carrier information that we want. So basically, back in the install image, we have a file called Zeppelin Logos. You want to open up that folder, and basically, these are all the different carrier um, choices you have. You can have the Abstergo logo from Assassin's Creed, uh, the Android guy, uh, some science things, the Apple logo, um, the Assassin's Creed logos, or in my personal favorite, you can have the high carrier, which is what I'm going to do. Basically what this does, it makes your iPhone look like it does in the Apple commercials. So first thing we want to do is you want to take the black image that says black uh, PNG, we want to drag it into the first box, and then we want to take the etch and drag it into the second box. And then after that's done, you want to hit complete carrier update. And here we go. Now what's gonna do is it's gonna give you two files on your desktop. It's gonna give you the original carrier information. So in case anything goes on your iPhone, you can restore it back to it. And it gives you the new updated uh, carrier information that we just created with this program. So basically what you wanna do now is you wanna open up iTunes because um, when carrier update um, editor starts running, it closes out iTunes to prevent any um, backlog. So if any, if you got any devices syncing, stop them. I'll go over to your device, I'll click on your iPhone, and this is my iPhone right here. Basically what you want to do now is you want to hold down the option key on your keyboard if you're on the Mac and hit restore iPhone. And what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way down to Verizon LTE US version uh, 13.4. That's my care information, but it can be completely different for you guys. So this is my new updated one and it says original and the updated one. So I'm going to choose the updated one, hit open. And it says uh, updating care information. And then sure enough, if you go on your iPhone, the Verizon uh, branding is now gone. You have an iPhone that looks like 
the commercials in the Apple commercials, which I think is kind of cool. So anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. If you guys have any other iPhone tutorials you want me to do, uh, just leave them down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.